Okay. We're talking about, first she was asking me if I remembered any funny stories, and I couldn't think of any until we were talking about where I grew up. And my house was like in a, kind of like in Grandview, that like kind of a neighborhood and stuff, but, except that across the street there was a farm. And one time I was helping the girl across, they just had two cows, and so I went to help her bring the cows in. And so one cow had a chain on, and so she said, here, stand on this chain to hold this cow here to put while I go to get the other cow. <laughs> stand on and the I, chain. Yes, and I was just a little light thing. I didn't weigh too much, and pretty soon that cow took off, and I just went, boom, right up, just right there. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have to chase a cow then or anything? <laughs> oh. But the house we lived in was actually a duplex. It was on the corner and kind of a, oh, you leave me? And, oh, and I'm, uh, uh, anyway, our, this duplex kind of was on the corner and it kind of sat up on a hill. And so the, the street beside us was all kind of a, just a little bitty hill. And that street wasn't too busy, but the other street was real busy. So I would roller skate. We like to roller skate. So I'd start at the hill and I'd come zooming down the hill and then I'd have to turn real fast to get around the corner. So I wouldn't go out in the street and I could go all the way from the top of the hill all the way down and all the way around to the end of the block. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. And... was was two stories and my grandma we lived with my grandma and she loved flowers and had a flower garden and at, in back at each of the corners she had I think it was iris big old clumps of iris and so Excuse I me. thought that would really be no. fun I, I thought it would be real fun to play little Miss Muffet and so I would, little Miss Muffet, and so I would run along and then sit down real hard in the middle of all these flower homes. And my grandma saw me up out of the window upstairs and she hollered, Gee, quack out! Okay, so now what do you need? What kind of chores did you have to do? I had to wash up the bathroom. I always hated washing up the bathroom. Oh, that was a good one for Calista then. I had to do that. I'm Carissa. I'll tape it. What? Okay, we can stop for a while. Okay. Alright, let's go. How much did things cost when you were my age? Things like pop, a candy bar, and a movie ticket. I have no clue. I don't remember how much stuff cost, except I used to get a dollar allowance, and I could take the bus. I used to take the bus to the movies, see a movie, Go to the five, they call it the five and ten. Go to the five and ten afterwards, and I could get a little, just a little toy or something and come home with my dollar. Okay. So. Was still your dollar or? Like, well, I mean, it, I wasn't like? even used, it wasn't even used my whole dollar to do that. So to take the bus, go to the movies, and get a little toy at the five and ten. So it wasn't like that expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, like, now the movies cost like seven bucks. Yeah. Okay, what did you do for fun? Went to the movies, played hopscotch, jumped rope, and skated, and roller skated, and, uh, and we used to, uh, my cousins lived next door, <laughs> and so I would play with my cousins, and we would have fun, and we would tie each other, we would play cowboys and we would tie each other up and then try to and then try to get untied and probably nowadays parents would have a fit if kids try to tie each other up. <laughs> hey it works at my house. 
Are you mad at Alex over school? Uh, when, when my cousins moved, they moved to the country, and they moved to New Jersey, and the whole great big side of there, there was a great big area by the side of their house. It was like a great big sandbox. It was like bigger than, it was just where the ground was all sandy, so it was like a great big huge sandbox, and we used to dig a pit and have a fire in there and roast marshmallows and hot dogs and we'd lay in the sand all the time. It was fun. Okay. What was elementary school like for you? Well, I was always real good at school, but I didn't like school because I was too shy. I, it was, I had like one or two friends that I liked, but I didn't like to be, I like to be the one that kind of sat around and watched. I didn't like to be in the middle of things. I always like to be with my friends. And I didn't get into the, like, I didn't like to play the sports and stuff. I like to play house with the leaves. Like I was telling you, where the, the tree, the leaves fell down, and we would push all the leaves together to make the dividers to make rooms and stuff. And so we'd play house with all the rooms. But we played, we jumped rope a lot. And I liked singing in school. We had, I had nice teachers. But I was kind of shy. What were the titles of some of your favorite books? Oh, I read all the Nancy Drew books. Every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I liked those the most. Okay. Um, and also, my grandma wrote, she never got any published, but she wrote books. And so when I would visit her and her stuff, she would, she would tell me all the plots of her books. And I would lay there and listen to her, and she would tell me all the books that she was writing. What was your first car like? My first car? I never really had a car of my own. I, we had... I, when I was in elementary school, we had, right, my, my dad worked at a gas station, and so he would buy, he had used cars that he could buy, and so, I mean, people would come in and want to sell their cars, so he would buy, so he bought one that was called, uh, I can't remember which one it was, whether it was a LaSalle or whether it was a Packard. But it was a great big long car, and in the back seat, in the in the back of the front seat, it had like a little compartment, and you could open it up, and it had it was really for drinks, I think, you know, like a little bar kind of thing or whatever. But you could just open it up and get in there and get stuff. And I, one of the boys that I took home, drove home from school, was a tall boy. And he sat in the back of his seat and he said, this is the first car that I've ever been in that I can stretch my legs all the way out. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things have you noticed about <laughs> all the, all the teacher had to do was look at your cross and you were it hurt your feelings. Nowadays they holler at you and go, like, sometimes don't they? I don't know. But anyway, the kids the kids minded pretty well. But I think that's more because nowadays there's so many more kids in a class. And in my day, you only had like one that was a rowdy kid. So didn't mean too much. But now there's so many kids, you have more rowdy kids and they get together and they get more rowdy. So, but other than that, I don't think there's much difference. Okay. 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 Which button to stop it then? This one?